Good morning, ladies. I just wanted to do a quick follow-up from my Jamberry application last night. I wanted to show you how my jams are holding up. Uh, forgive my cuticles. I am in dire need of some cuticle oil. So that's one hand, and this is the other one holding up. And it tends to be doing extremely well. Um, again, there's um, some reasons behind why my applications are finally working because I had some trouble at first. Um, first of all, it's the application method I'm using with the pull and baggy method. Um, I'm allowing my wraps to cool before I file them off. I'm also leaving this little bit of naked nail from where the wrap is so that um, when I'm using my nails, they're not pulling up. The other reason I didn't talk about yesterday is the fact that I am doing them right before I go to bed. So um, it gives them some time to like cool off a lot, set, and sort of just adhere to your nails a little bit without washing them and using them a bunch. And one other method that I didn't talk about last night is that you can actually press or iron out your bumps or any of the puckers in your nails. So you'll see that I actually have two very tiny puckers one on this nail here my ring finger at the core at the edge and one if you can see it in the very middle of my index finger so um to do that and i didn't see any on my right hand um if i do i'll catch it later but i'm not seeing anything at all so what i'm actually going to do to fix that and forgive my videotaping skills today. My husband was helping me last night. Um, I'm going to make my tweezers or you can use your um, metal cuticle pusher or anything else that you can heat up. Um, just be careful. This is supposed to be safe. Um, I'm going to make a little iron out of my tweezers. So I'm going to heat up my tweezer against the heater until it becomes like a little mini iron. So I've also heard of people actually using their curling irons or straighteners. I'm not that daring. I don't want to burn myself um, just for a per perfect application. So this gives me a little bit of help. And again, I do this first thing in the morning just so that I can um, fix these things before um, anything happens. Sorry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tweezer and I'm just going to iron out that little bump on the tip of my nail. Just like I said, like a little mini iron. And we're just gonna iron that out, push it out if I want, I can reheat up my tweezer. And iron that little bump out and you can see that if you can see that it's gone now I'll do the same thing with this little pucker in the corner here I know it's bad videotaping right now but I'm going to heat up my tweezer and I'm just gonna run the heat like a little iron along the wrap and iron it out. Just gonna check it a little closer. So if you can see that now, I don't have that pucker in the middle, and I don't have that bump along the side anymore. And if it comes back at all, I'll just do it again. But usually if I catch it right in the morning and I spend some time heating it, I usually do it two or three times just to make sure that I'm a little OCD about that, um, then it'll last for a really, really long time. So there you go. Hopefully those tips help you and give you a nice long lasting Jamicure, whether it is for domed nails like myself, curvy nails like myself, you can see that is a nice curve on that nail. That one even goes into my skin a little. Um, and uh, 
and or just flat nails that are giving you a little bit of trouble from time to time for some reason. Just remember, prepping is key. You can't apply jams to nails that have gotten oils from your skin onto them. They can't be put on dirty nails. Um, you want to properly prep them, get rid of that hidden cuticle. Make sure that you are always, always doing a good application um, without skipping any steps, letting your wraps cool, and then you can always um, do the pulling and the baggy method to help out a little bit more, um, ironing out any bubbles, and of course doing them in the evening to give them a little bit of time let to set. I just hope you've enjoyed this, girls, and that it does help you. I know I struggled for a really long time, and now I finally have a beautiful application all the time, and I absolutely love it. So, um, good luck, happy jammy cures, and I will talk to you later.